Halloween celebrations are officially coming back in the Castro this weekend. The famous nighttime street parties were shut down because of a mass shooting in 2006 and several instances of violence then. Things have been toned down in the years since. Leslie Gooden is in the Castro with what it means for the neighborhood to have an important part of its identity come back in a big way. The streets of the Castro will soon be filled for Castro Halloween, and I was able to speak with a local small business, Queer Arts Featured, who tells me that this event means that the Castro is still here. It's been 17 years since the Castro officially hosted its historic Halloween. Now it's back, starting Saturday at 1 p.m., ending at 9 on Sunday. It's the Castro, baby. It's the yeah. Castro. Devlin, owner of Queer Arts Featured, or Queer AF, a locally owned art boutique gallery experience, says this is a much needed sweet treat for the Halloween weekend. Any opportunity to activate the neighborhood and an event that has such a storied past and being able to revitalize it and bring it new life and new energy will remind more folks that the Castro is still happening and happening in new and different ways that incorporates an even broader spectrum of the community. A total of 45 businesses will be participating, including the Castro Theater. And along them, you will find movie screenings, drag shows, and a block party. Will this place look different come Halloween? Yeah. It will, yeah. What do you plan to do? I guess you'll have to come in and find out. The historically LGBTQ plus neighborhood was known for this celebration dating back to the 1940s, but stopped the event previously due to a mass shooting in 2006 and violence. Manny, the founder of Civic Joy, a nonprofit organization, is one of the organizers responsible for bringing back Halloween in the Castro. Kind of was a spark and was able to help fund it. Um, and so I'm very proud of that. I mean, our city needs it right now. Our city is not doing great in a lot of ways, especially our small businesses. And if we want our small businesses to stick around, we need to support them. And so I'm proud to be a part of that effort. Danny and Devlin say that this Halloween's message is simple. Um, it is a place, and especially I feel here, we've created a place that's of pure and true expression in all forms. So come exactly as you are. Although this year will be different than previous ones, all are invited for the free event in the Castro.